Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is the first video I'm filming with my new eyes. I've got them lasered. Feels amazing because I normally wear contact lenses so I'm like so happy right now. Um, and this little video is essentially a kind of 10 minute warm up routine. Something that I normally do before any hip workout. So I don't just come up here and start filming. I am going to film a workout after this. This is kind of my 10 minute warm up. Then I'll pause, have a quick drink and go into my hip session. So this is a great routine to follow before you go and do a hip workout either with dumbbells or just your body weight because you, you're gonna start using your hips, you're gonna start feeling your hip flexors, you know, your spine's gonna be working your shoulders, so you don't wanna just come in and start sprinting and doing burpees and lunge jumps, it's not good for you. So please, always if you can, do a variation on this kind of warm up or create your own with some of the moves that I do. So I'm gonna go through the first one. First thing I wanna do is, is gonna be a hip, a hip opener, so for our hip flex, we're gonna just step forward, we're gonna put our front foot forward and then we'll have a knee on the ground, and what I wanna do is think about opening up this this joint here, okay, so we're gonna be really pushing into the hip, arms above the head, and then back. So stretch, really think about opening up this. So obviously when we squat and lunge, we go into this position, and this is why I always start with some big hip openers. And there's no rush here, just take your time. So we're getting a nice little stretch through our lats as well, so arms up nice and straight. One more on this side. Perfect, and you switch. So same thing, right knee on the ground, left foot forwards. You're now thinking about your right hip flexor stretched up. And then back. So inhale, then exhale as you push into that hip flexor. So I think the, the last thing you want to do is walk up into your gym or into your, into your living room or your garden, maybe you're trying to just start jumping into squats and lunge jumps without really preparing the joints for what you're about to do. So this is what we're doing, we're just kind of doing mobility and movements to replicate what we're actually going to be doing when we start our workout. So last stretch, perfect. Okay, now we're going to do a similar one but for the, kind of for the side. So we're going to have one foot on the ground like this one knee out to the side, and we're gonna sit into it. Put your hand on the ground if you want. So we rock from left to right. You can also turn your foot out one if you wanna mix it up. You can sort of have your foot on the ground, and you can do a couple with your toes to the ceiling. This is really gonna feel, you're gonna feel the stretch on the inside of your groin. Oh, and that's a little click. Next I'm going to do, again another hip opener, in this high plank position, left foot by your left hand. So what, you can put your knee on the ground and put your back knee, but what we're trying to do is really feel the stretch and, and the hip open up. So from that position, like you can use your hand to drive your knee out, you can bring it in a little bit. So just really, you can be free flowing, you've got to be fixed, kind of just get used to moving through that ball and socket joint. And if you want, you can also turn your foot out like that. You can roll your foot in. And out, good. And we're going to switch legs now, so back into the high plank. Right foot. And again, you can use your hand to push that knee away. So just from the front on. So I'm in that position there. And I'm activating that hip flexor there. I'm working this right hip. And like I said, you can drive your knee out a little bit. You can bring it in. And you can just sort of flow a little bit more into it. Brilliant. Right. So what we're going to do now is one on the bottom, another hip opener. So we're going to have our feet like this, nice and wide. And what we want you to do is drive one knee towards the ground. So drive the knee towards the ground and then open. So it's interior, not interior, internal and external rotation of the hip. So knee in, and then really think about driving that knee out. So you might find that one's tighter, like my left is much tighter. So this one can go down a lot lower. Like. But really just push that joint through its range. It's not, it feels quite uncomfortable, but it's really, really good for you. This is gonna allow you to get into a deeper squat, deeper lunges. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is another variation. This is my favourite one. This is called the 90-90 sit. Now, I do this one a lot. So you're trying to get your knee in a 90 degree in front of you, and the same here. Now, when I first started doing this, I used to be right over to the side of this, so I managed to kind of get much better with this because I just repeated it, and I do it every day, I do this one. And even if I'm watching TV, I'll do like a few minutes at a time. So if you can't bring your knee parallel, bring it back a little bit. And what you're trying to do is bring that chest over the knee, driving that knee and that foot into the ground. So in that 90 position, 90 degrees if you can. Keeping that bent there. Lean forward. And then obviously as you get a bit more mobile, you can start to kick that leg back a bit. And then go into more of a pigeon. Oh man, it's really tough, but it's such a good hip opener. A few weeks ago, I could never have done this. Really worked on this. So then we're going to rotate again, same thing, we go over the other side. So just start in that seated position if you can. So nice straight back, drive the knee into the ground, foot into the ground, and just sort of start to lean over that knee. You're going to really feel that knee outside of your hip. And then the progression is kicking that leg behind you. <sighs> Trying to get that knee onto the ground again, into that pigeon pose. Oh, it's tough, this one. <sighs> so as I said, if you can't do that full position, just sit in the 90-90. And you might be to the side as well, it's fine. Just sort of come over, just lean over. You can work different angles. You're going to feel it for sure, open up that hip. So that's our hips done kind of thing. What I want to do is a couple of squats just to make sure that we have got the range. So again, wide stance, turn the feet out. Come down nice and slow. Sit into that really low squat. And then drive your knees out with your elbow. Sort of push it into your knees. So again, I'm sitting right down into my hips. Drive the knee out. Good, and then from there, what we're gonna do is put our hands out in front of us like this. And then we're gonna just rotate. One, two, three. Last one, four. Good, okay. Let's just do five nice squats to finish the legs off. One. Two, good, drive those knees out. Three, two more. Four, final rep. So as you can feel, your hips should be nice, nice and open and relaxed. We're now gonna go into an exercise for our upper body. So we're gonna go down into a kind of charge pose. And what we're gonna do is open up our lats. We're gonna push our fingertips into the ground. So you weight come back, sit down at your heels almost, and then drive those fingertips into the ground. Good, hold that. Really push down. Then you can come up onto your, tip, your fingertips a little bit. Same thing, push. Head towards the ground, push the fingertips into the ground. Just really can't into our all fours like this, and we're going to lift our arm up and then start to rotate. So your palm is facing away from you now. As you start to rotate, so your palm faces away from you there. So you go rotate as the palm faces you as you come up, then you start to rotate. And eventually, your palm is by your side facing away from you. Same again, take that shoulder for its full range. Other side, arm up, rotate. And back. And again, arm up, rotate. And relax, good. Next time we're gonna do on our backs, it's gonna be one leg straight, one leg up. And what we're gonna do, we're going to just bring that knee towards the, towards the chest, out towards the armpit, sorry, so across the body, and then from there, we're going to roll it to the side. So to the armpit, 
then to the side, good, and again, switch your legs, lift leg on the ground, so again, hold that knee toward the armpit, you're going to feel that stretch through your hip again, and then bring it across the body, Last time. Perfect. And then the final one I'm going to do is going to be open up the upper part of the hand. So you one arm like this and you open up and you bring it across. So really open up. Follow your hand with your eyes. Good. Last one. Right. Switch to sides. So same thing, on that in front, <sighs> try and eat the hands, and open up the book, to touch the ground, behind you, okay, last couple, <sighs> and relax. So, that's it, nice simple routine, my joints have warmed up, my body's ready to go, now I can stop the video, and go and start my first hit workout of the day, which is going to be a 15 minute workout. So that's just a short little, you know, 10 minutes. I know it takes a bit of discipline, but I'm going to now have a better session. I'm not going to injure myself. I'm going to recover quicker and get the most out of every exercise. So I really hope you enjoyed that warm up. Thanks for taking part and um, go and do your full workout now. Good luck and have a great day.